from New York. Ebro in the morning on Hot 97. So Jacquees went on social media to tell the world that he is the king of R&B of his generation, right? A lot of people were chiming in, having debates. I just want to let everybody know that I'm the king of R&B right now for this generation. I understand who done came and who done did that and that and that. But now it's my turn. Jacquees, the king of R&B. I just heard him say it, and I've, I've been feeling like that. ATL, let's get it. I'm the new king of R&B. A lot of people were chiming in, having debates. But one of the funniest things that I did see is uh, Jay Holiday going on Instagram. And check this out. Hey, listen up, man. This is from one R&B singer to the rest of y'all motherfuckers, man. Listen here. And this is some real shit from my heart. That shit, that bullshit that man said. There's three kings of R&B. The first one sold 20 million on his first album. As Jay Holiday goes on to like, you know, say his piece, Ebro, the funniest thing was he's talking on his IG. Then somebody in the middle of his rant is like, excuse me, sir, are you valet? I'm not valet, baby. Not with a Gucci jacket on, I'm not valet, baby. The second king of R&B is from Chicago. And the third one is from Tappahannock. Four and five right here. Yo, check this out, Jay Holiday. You're very talented. You're a talented guy. Yeah, you valet. King of so nothing, sir. Funny. And Jacquees, I respect the fact that you jumped in and you're like, look, for the new generation, I know everybody did, and he wants to put that pressure on himself. Mm -hmm. Like, I get that. And you actually trolled the internet yesterday very well, Jacquees. It was now the people are paying attention. Now people are paying attention. Now you got to deliver. And you got to take down all those old videos of you singing mad off key. Because <laughs> people will dig and they already will find have. And it's they already will happened. Post. Is King of RB even a thing? That's the question. Well, it was. Who was it, though? It was. There was a time when R. Kelly was considered it, he considered himself. There was even a video of R. Kelly saying that Chris Brown is the new king. Mm -hmm. And then Usher's in the conversation, of course. But then, of course, you get into Usher. It's a fun conversation. And Trey Songs was brought up a lot. Trey Songs should be in the conversation for sure. I listen. I don't. I love a lot of these guys, but ain't none of them checking all the boxes like Chris Brown. Chris Brown even even has the rap sheet of the terrible great R and B artists. I mean, the James yeah. Browns, the criminal, Otis Reddings. He's got all of it. Past. He's you got it to. all. The drug abuse. Yeah. He's got it all, man. He's the king. <laughs> Chris Brown. He's the king, is man. The king. He won with that. Yeah, yeah. he is. He's Christ. got the good and the bad. The backflips, the singing. He's got mm -hmm. the electrifying live stage. Mm -hmm. He writes the music. And he's got the rap sheet. And That's he true. can dance. <laughs> and he can, he can dance. dance. <laughs> Cardi B went on social media also because people are trying to say that this whole offset breakup is a publicity stunt. But she basically says that, why would you effing think that I would put my family business out there like that? She was like, my heart is on my sleeve right now. I'm completely hurt. She's like, I feel like I'm handling it pretty well because I'm doing pretty good and good things are happening to me. But I've been seeing a lot of people saying my relationship was fake. She's like, it absolutely was not fake. The relationship was fake or the breakup is a publicity stunt? Which one? They're accusing her of everything. Well, All that's the what above. the internet does. I think the, the logical part could be if they were actually having problems anyway, did it make sense to make a bigger deal about the problems, to go on IG live, uh, on IG stories about the problem, whatever she did, post a, make a post about it. About them getting a divorce potential. Followed by the post of the baby. That was a lot of news in one day to come with when you were about to deal with the court thing. But the court thing wasn't that serious. However, maybe they view that that court thing just sullies her image now that she's such a mainstream artist. She doesn't want any sort of like. And I also think that she posted that video because she knew that those videos and those screenshots were gonna come out. Of the other girls. Yeah, and I think she was kind of like, oh, I'm tired of Protecting herself and, and not, yep. she didn't want to seem like a victim, you know, like she was the one being played. Right. Well, I think in sense. some ways, like uh, often in relationships, right? One or the other party has to feel like they're taking control of themselves in some way, and like you guys articulated, defending themselves. Which makes sense. King of R&B. Oh. Have to be Chris, man. Chris might mm -hmm. be king of rap, too. He got five. bars. Yo, I mean. Chris Brown has had club brawls, rap beef. Yo. Yeah. The Rihanna situation. Celebrity relationships. Domestic abuse. Mm -hmm. 
drug addiction. All of it. The only one competing with Chris would be Drake. You giving Drake King R and B? Hi, Shawnee. But you ain't like that. I thought it was Yo, you've been coming for Drake for a but long time. But his R and B records are <laughs> fire. fire. I mean, hold on, we're going I mean, home. Is a is a classic. Look, he don't have the dance steps though. No, no. he definitely doesn't. What do you mean when he broke his leg when he was running across stage? <laughs> <laughs>